Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or hi, if you're new here. My name's Thalia, and you probably already know that because of my name, Totally Thalia. Why did I name my canal Totally Thalia? So the reason I named it that because I was like brainstorming. I, I actually named my channel a year ago, and I didn't start it until now. So the reason I named it a named it totally is because totally like you're, you're gonna see totally Thalia like it's just me who I is reviewing makeup and then the Thalia the reason I spelt it that way is because many people don't know how to pronounce my name my name is actually spelled T-H-A-L-I-A -A, but people don't know how to pronounce it so I figured if I spelt it that way maybe people would know how to pronounce it so that's that's the reason behind the name so today we will be doing the collection we will be doing the review on the good as gold collection and i will be putting so i will be putting this look together so if you are interested in seeing how i put this together please keep on watching i am only going to show you the eyes and the lips so i will fast forward until the parts that you need to see um, I will fast forward through the entire video that I am doing the eyes because if I don't fast forward then you will be here for hours. So I thank you for being here again. I know it's another video. I know but they're fun. They're fun for me. I love playing with makeup so they are fun for me and I figured if I can save you some money and let you know what to buy and what not to buy at least my opinion so just know that this is my opinion look at many reviews before you make a decision on if you want to purchase it or not but i will be real with you and let you know what i like and what i don't like so stay tuned for my review that will be at the end and in the middle you will see the tutorial and how i put the eyes together um still a beginner with the lashes so please please ignore the craziness on the lashes and the eyebrows so um yeah thank you so much for being here so today we are going to be swatching and trying the color pop good as gold collection so let me just show you what is in the collection it's the eyeshadow palette four lip kits lip liner and a lipstick then we have glitter liners they're metallic liquid liners and the shade bronze touch the rose standard and gold rush so I will live swatch these so you can see what they are. And then we have three lashes. So these, I will not be trying all three of them. I'll just try on one of them. Uh, whenever I'm doing the tutorial. And that's it for the collection. So I will start by live swatching the lip kits. So the first one I'll try is put on the Ritz. Okay. very creamy not super creamy but it glides nicely not as creamy as the Huda lip line but it's nice and way better price so now let's do the lipstick so it looks like this it has little estrellitas little stars It actually, these actually feel better, at least this one. Feels better than the little mini Anastasia lipsticks. Feels creamier. They do smell very lipsticky, like that. If the smell bothers you, just so you know. Kind of like crayon or waxy. Okay, so that's that one. I like it, I like it. Next one is a 
strike it rich. First I would try the flavor. For the price, I really like these. They're not like the pencil liners that kind of like skid and are hard and rough. They're really, they're not really like super creamy, but they're not harsh either. So that right in the middle kind of looks like the color of my lips. So again, there you have it. And I don't like to put on the lipstick like this because I'm always afraid that they're going to break. So put it down and now let's do it. But it's nice. It glides nicely. Again, a lot better than those mini Anastasia lipsticks. I I've never tried the full lipsticks. Um, but the mini ones, they are a lot like... These are a lot creamier than those. So if you were thinking of getting the mini lipsticks for Anastasia, I would say these are better. Like this color again. <sighs> Maybe on a more, with a little bit of lip gloss on a more chill kind of day. It's gonna be that nice. got them because I chose them not because he was like oh she needs more mugs next is this red ass hey big spender lipstick I honestly haven't used a red lip in a very long time Not the creamiest, but not the driest. It would be harshest. So that's the liner. Obviously, I wouldn't just imagine going like this. No. Now let's do the stick. This one looks like a dark brown and it's called Go For Bold. These lip bundles are $12 a piece if you want them individually. And as of right now, I don't see the Good As Gold collection, so I don't think the entire collection is available at this time. So if you do like these, they are $12 a piece. And it comes with a lipstick and a um, lip liner, and I think that's a really good price. So if you are, if you do like any of these shades, then I do recommend that you get them because they are they feel really nice. Now I'm trying the eyeliners and then I will try the palette. So the first one I am trying is Gold Rush and it looks like this. It looks kind of chunky and weird. I honestly don't feel like they're going to be great. So let's see. Oh, not bad.
I feel like it looks nice there but I do feel like I need to go in for more like that's not good enough so I'm gonna pop it in some more and go in for a second so I'm going in for the third time It feels nice. Hopefully it doesn't like crack because I don't like when eyeliner looks all cracky and stuff. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit and let me try the another one on the other eye. And the rose standard looks like this. Pretty, but again I feel like you need to go in warm like more than once like on the first swipe it's not gonna look very pigmented so if you want to you can build it up you just have to be aware that it's not very pigmented pigmented off the bat so you have to go in a few times each of these is nine dollars so if you like any of these shades, $9. This is Gold Rush. And this one is Rose, the Rose Standard. Those are those two shades, so let me show you the last shade. The last shade is Bronze Touch, and it looks like this. And it looks like that. So this is rose and this is the bronze one. Now I'm gonna swatch the eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So every time I eat really shitty, I start feeling crappy. So I need to, I need to stop. This is how the palette looks. It's cute, it has little butterflies right there. Good as gold. And okay. so this palette is eighteen dollars on its own. Let's start with the swatches. So I will start and go this way. And I'm gonna use both my eyes. So I will start on State of Mind, and I'm gonna use this Morphe brush comes in a bundle. I'll be using this little layer. This is just a good transition shade. So this is how it looks. Nothing crazy. I would most likely just use it as a transition shade because you can't really see much. So the next shade is Digging You and I'm going to put that right here. I don't think I have a color like this, so I do like it. Eight of mine and digging you. So let me take these off and I will be right back. Oh my god. I'm taking the shit off. Okay, I'm back and I'm more comfortable. You see all of that? That is not glitter that I sprayed on me. That is glitter from that shirt and I have glitter all over and it's it's not good. I usually like glitter. That's not good. Alright, 
So the next shade is Trooper and then Bold Brush. Trooper is a yellow matte shade. transition shade An all over shade I like it I like it brown there's nothing really unique about this one this went on kind of patchy, but it may be the brush that I was using. Using, you see again all that glitter from my shirt. No munches away. Next is 24K. So, from what I can tell, there are two glitters right here and right here. So if you don't feel these are usually glitters are not eye safe so if you don't feel comfortable using these on the eye please do not use them i however do use them just very careful about how i use them so next one is 24k that was weird but it went on a little chunky myself using this all over the lid and a little bit of a transition color and mascara and we're out the door and I think this one's a glitter see that all right next colors are gold star and AU team. I think this one's a glitter for sure. So, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna swatch this on the eye. I'll just show you on my hand because I know a lot of people don't use them on the eye, and I, I'm already full of glitter, and I don't want to get even more. So, so I'll go with Gold Star, and I'm gonna pop that on the eye with my finger. one is AU team so the first one and the more gold one is golden touch nugget about it right here so I'm gonna use my finger for that one as well it looks pretty on the finger can you see it Last two are Big Brooch and Let's Do It. I keep trying to like look at myself in the mirror and there's no mirror. Um, so I'm gonna take Big Brooch. And that's a sequence, so I'm gonna use, do it on my finger. It looks really bonito. Really, really pretty. Oh my God. It's like a brown, imagine just a matte brown shade, right? With little specks of gold glitter in it. Definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. That is so pretty. I really like that. And last, it's just a black. Oh, 
full block. Okay, I'm not gonna add any more because this is dark as hell. And I know this swatch is freaking insane, but you get it, it's a black. So those are all the shades. Sorry I didn't do that glitter on my eyes, but I just have glitter all over and that would be bad. And I know some people don't even use them on their eyes. Imagine leaving the house like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this off and then we can do the tutorial. So let's start with the eyes. And again, for most of this, I'm gonna speed through it because you do not want to be here for hours and hours. So I am going to start by using this Morphe N453 brush.
lashes that I put on. I put on the Minx lashes by Colourpop. As you know, they're brand new, so they're a little like stiff and the band is a little thick and it kind of has been poking me in the eye, but I prefer some lashes I got from Walmart. They are the, these right here. Like even if it's like really close to the eye, it doesn't hurt as much because the band is a lot thinner. So now I'm gonna do the bottom lash line and we're gonna do lip y luego ya acabamos. Okay, so my final thoughts. I like the palette, especially the shades that I use. I feel like they blended so amazing. And for $18, I think that is a great palette. I'm so excited to continue to work on it and work on it. Que dijo? Continue to play with it. I think I'm most definitely gonna use these shades for New Year's. And then the falsies. I don't know if it's because I don't know how to put them on, but they feel like super thick and they hurt. And it's probably because I need to cut them some more. I already cut them though, so I'm, I don't know. Maybe I put them too close to the inner corner, but this one's definitely falling off, so I'm sorry about that. So as of right now, I don't recommend these. The palette, I recommend it. Obviously, you don't have to buy it if you have shades like this, but I think it's very good, especially for the price. Mm, the lip bundles. I really like how they feel. The lip liner is not the creamiest. These, for me, they're creamy as hell. I don't have a Huda one, so I can't compare it to that, but they're, they're creamier than the small lippies I got from Anastasia, so that says something, right? So you, I feel like it's a much better price for you to get this set than go and get a set from Anastasia. So that's what I think about the lips. What else, what else? So lips, I approve. Thalia approved. Uh, palette, approved. Lashes, I'm still. The small liners, the glitter liners, I don't think that you need to get them. They weren't the greatest. When you need to like keep coating them. I still need to play with them some more, but as of right now, I can't say yes with, uh, with because I don't want to guide you in the wrong direction, but definitely the eyeshadow palette and the lips, I feel like, are great, especially for the price, they're amazing. So, those are my final thoughts. I will be doing another video coming soon on the Ola Chola collection, so stay tuned. So, that is it for this video. Again, thank you so much for being here, uh, especially for my 40 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please subscribe if you like this video. Please comment down below what other collections you'd like me to purchase or review or what kind of palettes you want to see in this channel. I will be doing the BoxyCharm unboxings for January next month, and um, the Ola Chola collection palette is coming soon probably in the next few days so yeah thank you so much for being here please subscribe if you like this video 
please hit the like button if you like this video. Please hit the thumbs down if you don't like this video. Please hit the little bell. Um, if you hit the bell, it should notify you every time that I post a video. Subscribe!